What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. So we were talking about an actual Movers Des Bryant card, but it appears that EA is going to replace that Movers card with a Week 10 card. All right, a Week 10 NFL replay card. Now I'm going to give you the numbers on this Des Bryant. All right, and we are in April. So at this point, it doesn't really make any sense to continue the ridiculousness of putting out cards with, you know, limited speed and stuff like that. Because right now, this is usually the time when EA really cashes in. And let me explain something to you, you know, what I mean by that. They start to put out cards that are really, really wild and souped up and ready to go. Now, Des Bryant, I've been trying to tell you guys this for a while. Des Bryant has never been a burner. Des Bryant is the kind of individual that was, he was very, very gifted at going up and getting the ball, whether it was back shoulder, just going straight up and doing whatever, had the best years of his life in the NFL with Tony Romo. Obviously, De um, Dak Prescott is not working out too well, in my opinion. I think that Dak's system of the way he plays, the you know, the way he plays, it just doesn't coincide. It doesn't really, um, it doesn't work with Des Bryant, pretty much is what it is. So whether you think he got a fair share or he didn't get a fair share, doesn't really matter. This is all that matters right now. The new card is going to be a 97 overall. And it's very, very interesting because they're taking it from the 2014 season, which in my opinion, is, you know, it was his best season. All right. It's going to be a week 10, uh, 2014 Des Bryant. Now let's check out these numbers. A 93 speed, 93 catching, 95 spectacular catch, 98 release, 98 jumping, 96 catching traffic, 91 route running, 89 elusiveness. Now just listen to those numbers, right? And we're going to go ahead and compare it. So pretty much, he's jumping up six for speed. He's going to jump up five for catching. That's what I'm going to focus on right now because the catching traffic with the plus five, the spec catch, that doesn't matter. They're going to drop the ball regardless. But this is, what, this is what's very, very interesting, though. He does have a power-up. Now, I think EA did this just to make sure because we don't know what's going to happen with Des. We all know that he probably is not going to get a decent amount of money. You know, there's a lot of uh, questions about why they took so long to release him. Were they really trying to hurt his, you know, his chances? In my opinion, they did because you got bums getting signed for ridiculous money. And if they were going to sign those bums, Des Bryant's name comes with a certain allure. Like, even though he hasn't played well, he's still part of Cowboys Nation. So he would have um, demanded a little bit more just based off the name because people just know Des Bryant. It, it is what, it's like certain things you just know. You, you know, uh, you know, you know, Michael Jordan, you know, certain people and Des Bryant's name usually is something, whether you think he's a good player or he's not, people know him. So he would have gotten more on the open market if the Cowboys would have done right by him and released them earlier. So listen, this is the whole situation, right? What I don't understand is in 2014, they could have given him more speed. You see the 93 speed right now, put it like this, right? Let me compare him to Randy Moss. Because Randy Moss, right now, he's a 97. He goes to a 98 with the uh, toughness cam. He can't run by anybody or anything like that, even with that speed. So I don't think it would have hurt EA to give Des Bryant more speed. Because if you guys know, if you bring out a Darrell Revis, like a 59 overall, I don't even know if I have that Darrell Revis. Let me go to that Darrell Revis right now. But I just wanted to show you some of those stats before I got to this. Darrell Revis, uh, when the game first started, it was like a, a bronze Darrell Revis, and I had a bronze Camardi. I don't know if I still have them. Let me go ahead and check really quickly. Um, so cornerback, and we're going to go quality, and we're going to go bronze. All right, do we have them? Okay, we, okay, there we go. Now, look, either one of these guys, I actually did it in the game. And, and also, but Sam Shields is faster. I had these guys in zone um, testing it out in an actual live game. You cannot get past Darrell Revis with, this, with these stats right here. 44 zone coverage, uh, 46 man coverage, 85 excel, 82 speed, okay? So... What I'm saying is this, why would you give him a 93 speed? You know what I'm saying? Like you might as well give him something else that's more alluring to make the replays uh, a little bit more exciting unless you had a secret alternative plan. You see what I'm saying? I think that EA is, they didn't want to wait for the movers, but they are probably going to give him a movers anyway. And then what they're going to do is they're going to enhance that one to be a ridiculous speed because the 93 speed right now, when you look at the receivers that are available, like you see Antonio Brown, which I don't know why they give him such slow. They give Antonio Brown very, very low speed. And I, I don't understand why that happens because it doesn't make sense because he looks like a burner on the field. Like when he gets in front of you, I don't think like I, I haven't seen people catch him from behind. I may be mistaken, but I, I don't think I've seen that because he's so small and he has those like quick strides and he really, really moves. So I, I don't really know what's going on with that. But let me just go and give you guys an example of what I'm trying to explain to you. 
Des Bryant is not going to catch the ball, okay? So with that being said, all the other spec catch and all the other ridiculousness doesn't matter, right? So what they're saying is that Antonio Brown and Des Bryant is the same speed, which is just stupid. It, does, it doesn't make any sense, okay? So now the 98 release, I will tell you this. If people are pressing, whether it's zone, whatever it is, zone man, whatever they're doing, right? The release does work certain times. You'll, you'll get an animation where the guy will like, he'll brush him off and then it'll be stupid. The guy will like act like he's stunned and then end up still right next to you. Like it's really, bro, th this game is giving me hives underneath my eyelids, but that's neither here nor there. The jumping aspect of Des Bryant, he has a 98 jumping. We all know that Des Bryant was a jumper. Obviously I spoke to you guys about that. He had his best year, 2014. Catching traffic hasn't mattered in years. Um, and pretty much the catching going to a 93, that doesn't matter either. You know what I'm saying? So when you, the reason that I need you guys to understand what I'm trying to explain, the replace card is going to have value simply because of the power up. Now, a lot of you guys have been confessing to me like, you know, you're really embarrassed about the fact that you've been powering up uh, specific cards. I had one guy confess that he powered up Whitley, uh, Whitney Merciless. Like, why are you doing that? Like, what, what are you what are you guys doing? Do you guys just want to lose coins? I don't, look, you guys got to let me know what you're trying to do. Either you guys have issues that I don't know about or something's happening or you really got, you guys are really fanatics and you just really want to power up whoever because I don't see why you would power up Whit Whitney Merciless. That, does, that, that right there doesn't make sense. Other cards, I'd be like, all right, I'll give you a pass. You know, like, all right, all right, bro. But come on, man. You guys are really going wild with it. All right, so look. The value of this is going to probably go up. So look what's going to happen, right? Even though you saw him at a 93 speed, he's going to get a power up to a tier 5. So more than likely, they've been adding plus ones. So he's going to go to a 94 speed. The next thing that EA can actually do is give him a mover's card which movers cards are coming because they got it in Madden Mobile, more than likely we're going to get it in the regular console, right? Is it going to be worth it to get Des Bryant up to a 95, 96 speed? Because remember, let me just explain something to you, right? The movers card, I don't think they're going to give him more than 95. So real, realistically, you're powering up some, a card that's probably going to max out at 96 when you can go on the auction house and get so many other cards that are going to be so much better and probably actually catch the ball. You see what I'm saying? Like, one of these other hidden gems that are there from the Texans, right, that do... Well, let me let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. He has a 97 speed. Can't remember his name, but obviously you're going to see it in a second. Uh, there's a lot of receivers with decent speed that you can get for very, very cheap and not have to worry about a lot of the other things that come with the fact that they're going to drop the ball because we already know. Look, here it goes, Will Fuller. We already know he's going to drop the ball. We already know that, right? So that's not the issue. Now, this guy has a 97 speed, 6'1", you know, an inch shorter than Des Bryant. If you look at the actual things that he have, you would say, okay, he's probably he probably is going to be a bad card. He's going to perform similar to Des Bryant. He's not going to catch more or drop more than Des Bryant. They're going to be the same exact thing. So for you guys that ask me, like, yeah, G. Maya, I just, you know, I'm looking for receivers with speed. Um, what do you suggest? I can't really give you guys a suggestion because I don't feel right letting you guys, like leading you guys to slaughter. It's like, bro, I'm pretty much lining you guys up to be slaughtered because they're going to drop the ball. So when you ask me what is the best case scenario, I tell you guys what I did. Look, I've raid sold Randy Moss uh, probably three times so far, right? And I still got him back right now. So when you look at this, this is, this is what I have to deal with with EA. EA is actually saying that Will Fuller was Randy Moss's speed, okay? So... I, I'm dealing with a lot because I would rather EA keep the threshold down and, and show respect to, to Randy Moss, who, in my opinion, is the greatest and most, most lethal wide receiver ever in NFL history. But this is what I'm dealing with, okay? So I don't want to put my stress on you guys. What I want you guys to do is understand there's other options out there. You don't have to go through this power of rage unless you're a Cowboys fan or you just want to throw your money away. Whatever you guys want to do, go ahead and do it. Feel free to do that. But, you know... If you just wanted a receiver that can, you know, that you think can actually get down the field, because remember, you can't burn them deep realistically on the outsides, but inside is fair game. All right? Like you come out, you run the trips, and then you, you know, you streak the inside guy closest to the, you know, the right tackle or the left tackle, depending on how you flip the play. Those guys get open on cover two, one play touchdown, stuff like that. That speed comes in handy. You know, things like that. It's just the outside that they took away. They took away the whole concept of being able to one-on-one. -on -one just burn your player. Just burn someone. Because I just gave you an example. That Darrell Rebus and that Cromartie, you're not burning them. Go test it out. Test it out and then tweet me what happens. 
that's what I'm going to do, guys. So that way you guys can see that I'm not just making these things up because a lot of you guys have still not clicked in my description box and gone to Twitch and looked at my past broadcasts. Or you haven't watched a YouTube broadcast, uh, live broadcast, or you haven't even watched me on Facebook Live. So you haven't even seen it, but you're ready to say, oh, yeah, bro, you just think this, you just think that. That's not what this is about. I show and prove. Everything that I speak about with these cards, I show you guys and I prove it to you. And I let you guys see it for yourself. I'm not making this up. So I just don't want you, well, not you, because I don't know, if you're a reviewer that's not subbed, I'm not really speaking to you. I'm speaking to my subs. I don't want you guys to spend unnecessary coin on cars that's just not going to do what they say they're going to do. And that's pretty much what we're dealing with. And I don't foresee another patch, because why would you patch the game? The competitive scene is over. Um, the game is just completely destroyed. They're probably going to leave it alone. If they don't, maybe they patch it and get a new guideline going into Madden 19, which would be huge because that it, that could be the miracle that happens. You know what I'm saying? Things happen. You know what I'm saying? Like they probably say, you know what? Let's go ahead and patch it. A lot of people are complaining. Let's see what we could do because that's probably the smartest thing to do at this point is to experiment with what's left of Madden 18. So going forward, I don't recommend you guys powering up Des Bryant. If you are a Cowboys fan, which a lot of you guys are, Feel free to go ahead and do it, but I don't think it's necessary. And even like, I don't think anyone is gonna make an ultimate ticket, uh, Des Bryant. Like, if you pull an ultimate ticket and you have to make a card, I doubt that somebody's gonna do that. Maybe somebody would do it out of the love of it, but I would just save your save your coins now and see what's gonna come later. Okay, don't don't really think that that guy is gonna be better than the uh, you know than another card. He's gonna catch the ball more. None of that's gonna happen. If you do have the power up already and you've been going along with it. All right, fine. I don't think the replay card will go for as much. So go ahead and do what you have to do and continue to power it up. And then you can go from there. But ultimately, I don't think that they gave him enough for where we are in Madden. Because we're in April. You got to give the guy at least a 95 speed so that it at least looks appealing. I don't know. Let, let me know what you guys and girls are thinking, man. Let's go with a video view goal of about 15,000 views. I'm going to see you guys next time. One love.